Okay, Dr. Mindy here today, and I'm starting a whole new series on resetting your metabolism. So I don't know what time of year it is when you're watching this, but this series is being done right before the new year. And what I see in my practice all the time is so many people get motivated to make a difference on their weight and their health when we go into the new year. And I actually think it's a pretty darn good time to seize your motivation, jump on the opportunity to make some real changes to your health. And when it comes to weight loss, when it comes to metabolism, we have it all wrong. We do uh, weight loss all wrong in our, in our world. And what I wanna do over the next several weeks with my metabolic reset is really give you the tools to finally lose weight for good. So today is series number one, and I'm gonna start by explaining the cell because this is where metabolism is happening. We have 72 trillion cells in our body and they are producing what metabolism is, what the definition of metabolism is, is that these cells actually produce energy. And when they produce energy, you feel incredible and you don't hold on to weight. But the minute that these cells get dysfunctional or they get sick, that you, you start to have less energy and you're gonna notice that you're gonna hold on to weight a lot quicker. So a lot of you might be noticing, and I hear this all the time with my patients, where they say, I've tried everything to lose weight, and I'm not losing weight. And I don't care if you go on paleo, if you do vegan, if you do keto, um, if you go to Jenny Craig, Weight Watchers, nothing is going to make a lasting difference until you make these cells functional again. So I wanna start off by talking today about what makes them dysfunctional. And when you understand what makes them dysfunctional, you'll see over the next series that I do is you can really understand how to start to make them work right again, okay? So, couple key things you need to know. On the outside of your cells is a membrane. So this membrane should be porous. It should allow nutrients in and it should allow toxins out. Sitting on the outside of these membranes are receptor sites. They're like gateways. They let glucose into the cell. They let your thyroid hormones into the cell. They let all the good things that your cell needs to be able to metabolize. It lets the, these gateways let, let uh, our openings that allow these wonderful chemicals into your cell. So the number, the first thing you've got to realize is that these receptor sites are going to get blocked. And they get blocked by a lot of things. Sometimes they get blocked by too much glucose. This is why you guys that go on a ketogenic diet, you start to lower your carbs and your sugars and your fruit, and all of a sudden you unblock the receptor sites for glucose, and all these wonderful hormones can get into your cells, and you can start to lose weight. So a lot of you have noticed that. You also, they get blocked by things like pesticides. So there's so much research out right now about how many pesticides are in our food. Um, BPA plastics is another thing that these receptor sites will get blocked by. So you don't even realize that your plastic water bottle that you're, that you're drinking day in and day out has BPA plastic in it and that plastic is getting blocked in that receptor site and is affecting cellular metabolism. A really good study with this, a lot of you know, is the Agouti Mouse study where they actually looked at, um, at mice that had a gene for obesity and they fed them the same things, they put them on the, gave them the same amount of exercise. The only difference was they exposed one to BPA plastic and when they exposed that mouse to BPA plastic, it started to gain weight. Receptor site blockage, that's receptor sites. The other thing that will block these receptor sites are heavy metals. So I had a, uh, a patient in today who has been doing a lot of fasting, has been doing the keto uh, lifestyle. She's a resetter. She's been doing it for a long time. She tried doing individual supplements that sped up her metabolism and nothing was moving the needle. There were two things that started to move the needle for her. One was all varying her fasts, all different types of, of fasts. And I will go through that in future uh, episodes of, of my metabolic reset. But the second thing was we started to pull heavy metals out. We started to unblock these receptor sites. She went through our heavy metal protocol and boom, like I saw her today and her, bag, her pants were all baggy, her shirt was all baggy. It was the thing that finally allowed the cell to metabolize faster. 
The other thing that we are seeing are things like endocrine disruptors. So your lotions, are you putting toxic lotions on your skin, allowing them to go into the body and block these receptor sites? So this is why every time you approach your weight loss efforts, you've got to look at this toxic piece. So you've got to look at how do I lower glucose? So ketogenic diet, amazing. There's a lot of good ones out there. Paleo is even lowering, a little too high in protein, but lowering paleo, um, or lowering uh, uh, your carbs with paleo. Lowering protein, protein turns to sugar. Uh, a lot of you who did my autophagy fasting in my resetter group, we had great results in there because we were able to lower sugar by lowering protein. When you go to do that, you unblock receptor sites, but then you also have to look at the toxic piece, okay? So those two, and I've done other videos on that, so this, for some of you, this isn't new. But here's the thing that's the real trick, is that once you've gone and addressed the glucose, once you've got yourself on a good detox strategy, then we know that there's all these ancient healing strategies, like fasting, that you can actually tap in to, to the uh, cell's own repair system, where the cell will actually repair itself. So when you mix keto, when you mix it with detox, when you mix it with fasting, that's the magic. Because immediately now you start to repair something called the mitochondria. And the mitochondria start spitting out energy. I had a 20 year old, uh, or she, I think she's probably 25 now, uh, patient in my office today who has been with me for years since she was a little kid. She came in, she looked fantastic, she's about to go off to college, and she told me, I finally listened to what you said, I fasted like you told me, and I'm doing the keto, and she goes, it's unbelievable, the weight is falling off of me. And really, in an essence, what she's doing is she's repairing these cells. She's starting to apply healing strategies to these cells. Now, I want to finish up with this because I think it's so important and why I do these videos. Here's what's really cool about your body. You were made to burn fat. Your body wants to burn fat. It just can't identify what the heck it needs to do to increase metabolism because there's so many darn toxins in here. But the minute you start to tap into these ancient healing strategies, the minute we start to pull toxins out of your life, it all changes and you start to feel for the first time that your whole metabolism will click on. So that's sort of the beginning that I wanted to go to take you through so that you understand what it takes to metabolize. I do not believe that weight loss is a one trick pony kind of thing. You can't throw keto at it. You can't throw fasting at it. You can't go on some snake diet. You can't do one thing. You've got to put a lot of things together that work with cellular healing. And that's what I'm going to teach you over the next couple of weeks with the metabolic reset. So if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to my channel. You'll get all the updates of the current metabolic reset videos that I do. If you want a concrete 15 day metabolic reset plan, mixing everything I talked about today together, make sure you come to my January 5th event. We will be live streaming it. I am local in the San Francisco Bay Area. So if you're here local, come join me. Um, I wanna really end the, the suffering that so many people have around weight loss and not being able to lose weight. We're gonna, we're gonna demolish this, this idea that your body doesn't wanna lose weight. I, I wanna put it to rest and give you the tools so that you can finally lose weight for good. If you want information on that event, just put metabolic reset in the uh, comment section and I will make sure uh, that you get, uh, you get the information. Last thing, if you're a resetter or you're one of my patients and you've lost weight applying these principles, please just put in the comment how much weight you've lost so that other people can have hope, other people can see that it's possible. So, as always, from the bottom of my heart, I hope that helps. Have an awesome day.